Let's get in the real versus fake because I know a lot of you guys out there would love to buy a Kuji. So what's up you guys, welcome back to a new episode of Fresh and Fleet. This one's going to be fake versus real with the Kuji sweat. So yes, that's right, we're going to legit check the brand most notable for their vibrant colored knitwear. As well as the premier clothing of choice of the late great Biggie Smalls, RIP, living better now, Kuji sweater now. And hey ASAP Yams, I didn't forget about you homie, rest in peace. If anybody's new to the channel, please do subscribe as well as hit that like button and comment down below. Now why I'm doing this is because I got hit up in the comment section for a Kuji sweater legit check and I do have a collection I've been asked for a long time about my Kujis, how to legit check them, so finally it's here. So some of you out there know about the Kuji brand, but a lot of others don't, so I'm gonna go off a little history right here. 1969, it was created by Jackie Toronto in Turok, Australia. It was under the name Kuji, C-U-G-G-I. A little different from today. It was then in 1987, it was changed to the name we all know and love. So let's get in the real versus fake because I know a lot of you guys out there would love to buy a Kuji, considering how much these things are, and the fact that there's so many out there, you never know what's real, what's fake, what's different, what's not. Hopefully with the resources I'm giving you guys, you'll know how to do that. Now the two in front of me that I do have is a crazy colorful cardigan and also this taupe and tan loving neutral color Kuji. Both size large, both the same tag. First off, you want to see that the tag itself says Kuji, not Kagi. Okay, there was a post I came across. I'm going to show the picture right there. It actually said Kagi. Now it was close, but uh, not close enough. So you guys may be saying to yourself, okay, Mick, I see the tag right here, but I mean, it just says Kuji. What am I looking at? So what you want to go off of is the color coding within the logo itself. So just say C-O-O-G-I, you want to see yellow, blue, green, orange, and red. This is what I go off after and this is how I stay true to a lot of the pieces that I found. Because all of these, even the one that I'm wearing has the same exact tag with the same color coding. This is what I got to say because this is not the only tags, remember. Now within the tag itself, you're going to see that there are different ones. This is Mercerized Cotton. There's also a type of wool. I've had the wool version. It was in black. I did sell that one off and it did have a completely different feel. So thank you guys for watching. I did want to add something because a lot of people know these sweaters as the Cosby sweater, but sadly and crazy enough, he never wore a Kuji sweater on screen. It's just one of those things because those vintage sweaters he did wear. It's just like a Mandela effect that everybody knows about it, but it never really happened. So I hope this helped and I hope I gave you the tools that you need to go out there. If you guys gonna buy a Kuji sweater now, get a collection going. If it's not at a thrift and you're going to an online source, I hope I gave you the tools that you need to know what is legit and what is not. With that, I just gotta say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.